And we welcome you back to Miller Motorsports Park in Tuella, Utah. Coverage of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. It's the SunrichGourmet.com 1000 weekend. With Elliott Forbes Robinson, I'm Rick Benjamin. Rob Albright is on pit road. Let's check in up front. Brad Rampelberg still trying to chase down Aaron Malkasian in the Alara Racing 11 car. That's the yellow car up front. Rampelberg in that blue and white entry. One of the Hoover Speed cars. About five car lengths back, Elliot. He's just got to keep his foot to the floor here. Yeah, and he'll he'll catch it up because he was very fast. But look how much he closed up on the straight. From way back, you can still get a toe here and catch up with someone. As they come down the front straightaway, let's check in on one of the battles a little further back. They go three wide. This is Jenkins on the inside. Deborah Lott in the middle. Allison Malkasian on the far side. And Jenkins blasts by to pick up a couple of spots here. And here comes Deborah Lott right back. Well, that would have been a good move if Deborah could have got back by again, but it's it's tough getting back in that corner. But that was a great move, getting a double draft really gives you some speed coming down the street. Mark Jenkins from Fairview, Texas in the 25 car with that move, making a couple of spots up there. Meantime, here is Rampelberg working on the race leader, Malkasia. I thought he was going to take a shot there because that is the spot to get by. But I think Rampelberg still has a lot, of, lot left in the car. You know, we've seen it so far, and I believe that he's going to just take his time and make a good move so that he can get up. After the weekend, he had a taught of the air where right at the end of the race, the last time we saw him, he was parked. I think that he's <laughs> looking for this win really big time here. Brad Rampelberg hoping to get back into the hunt for the championship. Eric Foss, the points leader, into this round number six of eight races to decide the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup championship here in 2008. Good battle for the lead. Rampelberg, half a car length behind Aaron Malkasian as they dive into one of the right-handers. Pretty fast section right here. Yeah, it is. Now they're coming to the decreasing radius part, getting you back onto that back chute. And this is really important to get the run off of this corner because that comes down to some really high-speed corners and then into the uh, left-hander out there. Rampelberg was tempted that time, I think, to try to turn inside Malkasian. Here he is again taking a look. Doesn't quite have room to do it. Yeah, you know, he's going to do it here shortly, but he's just, you know, you got to make sure it's going to stick. One of the Alara crew chiefs talking to Aaron Malkasian on the radio. Yeah, this is, um, this is a, a spot where you really have to pick your place to go by because if you do it at the wrong spot, they're going to repass you anyway. So here coming on the straight. Now, maybe coming down the straight, he can get the uh, draft and be able to slingshot by. Actually, right now, it looks like Malkasian's uh, got enough on him. It's not going to happen. Brad Rampelberg in that blue and white 14 car. Winner at Portland earlier this season. Aaron Malkasian searching for his first win of 2008. Now he's got to run at him. Brad's got to run at him, taking the shot, get up beside him. Perfect. Carry it into the corner. And then if you can carry the speed off, because it is a late apex corner, and see how it sends you wide. Whoa! Aaron Malkasian right back at him, though, on the inside. But the next corner, fortunately, is a right-hander, and you can get back in there. Allison Malkasian, meantime, still locked in this battle with Deborah Lott for position. Well, these, these folks are having a good run side by side, one side, the other, and they're not hitting each other either. Coming into turn two, but the important part here now is to get through turn four with enough speed to try and outbreak going into five. Working lap number nine, as you can see from the telemetry on the dashboard of the Alara Racing entry of Allison Malkasian, this back around ninth and tenth, this battle raging. So she got the run here coming off of four and going to take the shot coming in here. I think she's got enough speed to do it. Denver Lott, one of the team MER cars, the Lott and the Donix 23 from Texas, swoops around the outside and holds her off. Well, that was a good move. I thought she had her there. I thought that was going to be a done deal, but it seemed like she was able to hold her off. She even, uh, Allison even lost a little distance there, and Tim Buck in the meantime has closed right up on the back of him even more, trying to take a shot at uh, Allison. Buck and that Hoover speed at a red number 18 there, battling for position. Back around 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. Tim Probst back there as well, one of the other Alara racing entries. Well, these guys are having a good race. They're they're really trying hard. And you know, I think Alice is going to regroup here and take another shot at uh, Deborah Lott here in a second. But the uh, Macasian car is obviously running very good. She's actually pulled away from Buck just a little bit here and pulled back in. Good battle for position around 10th here this afternoon at Miller Motorsports Park. We're just west of Salt Lake City. This brand new facility, Larry Miller, who owns the Utah Jazz in the NBA, built this facility a couple of years ago. Of course, he is a huge uh, automotive dealer in this region and built this place uh, partly to house his car collection. There's a beautiful museum on the grounds here. Some classic race cars and street cars housed here at Miller Motorsports Park. Up front, it's still Rampelberg in the blue and white car. He is your leader. 
Aaron Malkasian, the team principal of Alara Racing, in second spot. Malkasian's got to be frustrated. He's been searching for a win all season long, had the lead here today. Rappelberg just a bit quicker. Ryan Shims, as we mentioned, young driver from Texas, winner at Road America. He rides third in front of Robert Huffmaster. His teammate Huffmaster started up on the front row today, but has had some problems and right now sits in fourth position as the laps wind down at Miller Motorsports Park in Utah. Coverage of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup here this weekend. Sixth race of eight that'll make up the championship in 2008. Yeah, they're, uh, <clears throat> you know, these teammates, I think that Huffmaster right now probably is not thinking really highly of his teammate when he catches up with him. <laughs> Might have some discussions as we talked about when they get to the trailer after the checkered flag. Brad Rampelberg leads Malkasian and Shims. We'll be back in Utah.